Delta Airlines wants to hire 200 pilots a month to help build its fleet into the future. It's looking to Minnesota for help. Jonah Kaplan takes us inside the cockpit for a closer look at Delta's flight path to make that happen. What a beautiful day for flying. The pre-flight checklist and inspection are done. The runway is clear. Now it's time to take off. Destination, a dream job. You take off and you just see the buildings, how big they are, and then all of a sudden they start shrinking. You just start seeing everything from a new perspective. Seriously, you can't describe the feeling of how much calmer life is when you're in the sky. There's been nothing calm about airline travel since the end of COVID. And with demand now surging comes an urgent need for airlines like Delta to build a farm system. All pilots must retire at 65. And during the pandemic, thousands left the industry for an early retirement, opening the door for students like Evan Storkamp and Maddie Lupke. Here we're checking that we have all our static quicks. Both are seniors at Minnesota State University Mankato. Storkamp was accepted into Delta Propel, a pilot career path program complete with a conditional job offer and mentorship. Lupke might be next. Not many people get to say they took their first small airplane ride when they were six months old, but I guess I have that privilege. Having that around for my entire life, it really um, developed into something much bigger, which is why I'm here now. I wanted to be a teacher or a professional athlete, something like that, so it was nothing um, in the aviation industry. Were you good at math? Um, I wasn't terrible at math, but I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Science and physics? Yep, yep. Um, I'd say the same. They took different routes to get here, and that's exactly how Delta wants it. Propel is only five years old, and MSU Mankato was among the first partner schools. There are now 17, but Mankato remains the only one in Minnesota. Still, of the 150 Propel students across the country, almost a third of them are here. I'm just being born and raised here. I've got my biases, but uh, yeah, I, I, I think there's a, a work ethic, a, a customer service, just the personality of the Midwest people that uh, go a long way toward making this a success. Scott Calvert is a longtime Delta pilot and Propel mentor. He says the biggest recruiting challenge for airlines is the perception that the career is out of reach. And that's what we're trying to trying to beat that down, because that's not the case. Uh, there's ways to do it, there's opportunities to do it, and that, again, that's where the mentorship comes in. You're not lowering standards, you're trying to pick more people oh, up. Abs absolutely. The standards remain. Um, you know, we're at a spot that people have to grow to. Those standards include at least 1,000 flight hours, which they can accumulate as instructors or in the military. So it's not like they're coming right from this single prop plane to an Airbus 320. What does that do for the flying experience, for customer service? Like, wh why does Propel make such a difference? Well, I would hope it improves the customer service overall. I mean, sure, I'm there to fly an airplane, but I'm also there to interact with the passengers to a certain extent, right? It is a customer service business. The customers have a choice of who they want to fly. Evan Storkamp and Maddie Lupke promise they're all in. It's not just about being a pilot, they want to be professionals. Well, you're the one up there, you're in control of the aircraft and control of their lives. In Mankato, Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. Propel is open to juniors and seniors at MSU Mankato and other partner schools, including the University of North Dakota. Prospective pilots can also apply up to a year after they graduate.